brothers and sisters how's everybody doing i'm going to review these videos and i'm going to show you bible verses react to this video um i'm also going to tell you why kids need kids need father and mother and if mother and daughter i mean mother and father divorce or it doesn't go well they go into separation it messes up the kid it corrupts them it corrupts the kid it messes them up they have trauma they go through stuff kids are like sponge they absorb like sponge they absorb like a sponge all the pain all the trauma all the hurts they carry that until they're grown and who knows what they may be homosexual transgender or hoes gang drug dealers these things and we need to be careful what we say to kids even teenagers they're like sponge so the examples that's will smith and jada pinkiff jada pinkiff didn't doesn't have has no respect on will smith jada pinkiff talking about her memories so will smith jada pinkiff jada pinkiff talking about tupac her ex talking about it in front of will smith how would you feel if your wife was talking about her ex man how would you feel i'd feel bad i would want a divorce it's wicked she doesn't feel guilty or shame at all after the affair with augie those fornication that she did she does not feel shame so this is what i say this is like i say a good person does wicked thing if he has the spirit of god if he does wicked thing he feels guilty and ashamed and a person that is a person that's wicked does wicked thing he's not ashamed she's not ashamed he's not ashamed that's why satan attacks he attacked the most on the person that's living righteous that's following the commandments because if he can get you guilty if he can get you guilty then your guilt won't let you pray to the lord your guilt won't let you pray to the lord and your guilt is going to pull you far from the lord it's going to pull you far but the lord he gave you grace you're here deep in your heart you want to you want to quit addiction you want to stop addiction you want to quit you got to keep praying you got to keep praying hard this is a season the end is near you see all these things if you don't see all these things you're not awake all these things that's going on they're pushing the agenda on kids more people came to the truth this year more people came to the truth that's why they're pushing the lgbtq the homosexuality they're pushing it on nba player look at dwight howard they're pushing on nba player homosexuality to confuse the next generation the big influencer that people look up to nowadays celebrities rappers basketball players sports players actors they're gonna make music of homosexuality they're gonna make more sports players are gonna be caught homosexual 
more husbands are going to cheat on their wife to be with a homosexual man. NBA player, football players, homosexuals. Like, they're pushing it. They know what they're doing, the Matrix. They're making a big turn. They got the steering wheel. They're making that big turn. To make sure that the next generation, the next nation doesn't come to the truth. And that the people don't, that more people don't come to the truth. This is what I say. The more people that come to the truth, the more they're going to make it confused. They're going to, it's going to be normalized. Men wearing dresses and skirt. Women wearing pants. They normalize that. This is what I see. These outfits they made to promote to them. And then they wear these outfits. And they think that men want relationship. But these outfits make men lust. So when they wear these outfits, they have no respect for men. Men don't have respect for them. Because their mind shift. They change. They start thinking of sexual stuff. They look down and then they look at their face. These outfit mothers, you gotta stop your daughters from brainwashing you, telling you this is new, this is modern. Wearing shirts up to your belly button, piercing your ear, the top of your ear, piercing your nose. It's bad. Do not dress your daughter. As a prostitute, that's what it literally says in the Bible. Or else she's going to be a whore. And then the world is going to be full of whoredom and wickedness. And that is the time we live in. Let's pull out the video. We are back 814 with Carson and Hoda's exclusive. She was sitting right next to Will Smith. And when we met up with Jada in her hometown of Baltimore to talk about her candid new memoir, Worthy, she opened up about an issue that has been kept secret until now. There are so many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most that I actually had to reread it because right. I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives yes. it was not a divorce on paper right but it was a divorce, divorce. so from the year 2016 the governor <laughs> yes she seemed like, like excited happy you should be ashamed like that's nothing to be happy about you should be ashamed like she's happy <laughs> Y'all have been apart. Yeah. But in public, the couple who married in 1997 denied the gossip about their marriage. This interview on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. So uh, how long have you guys been together? Uh, 23 years. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. How do you keep it hot? Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, you know, uh, maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm baffled, really. Yeah, right. 23 years. Over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a... She looked beautiful at that point, but now, like, she's masculine. With ball, she had cancer, I think. That's why she was bald. A committed married couple. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement Migos. with a family friend. Neither let the public know they had already split. So I guess my question is, I feel like you're a straight talker. I am. Except you're not sometimes. Yeah. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah. how to be in partnership, right? And in regards to how do we present that to people, you know? And we hadn't figured that out. 
During our walk in Baltimore, Jada reflected on their breakup. Why did the relationship fracture? Oh, well, why it fractured? That, that's a lot of things. Yeah. And I think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we would both kind of never be a reason for us to get a divorce. I have so wow. many questions. So do I. I have so many questions. Well, you guys saw it. So, Jada Pinkett is the reason why that she destroyed the family. Because I'm going to show this next video that their kids got corrupted. This is what they're pushing, the agenda. That's a woman outfit. That's Jaden Smith. So yeah, you saw, this is what they're pushing. That's why they took fatherhood out of their life. That's why divorce rates are high. Somewhere in the Bible, it says, and I will show it to you actually. First Peter chapter three, verse one through six. And it says, likewise, wives, be subject to your own husband, so that even is if some if some do not obey the word, that they may be won without a sword by the conduct of their wife. Have respect for him. When they see your respectful and pure conduct, do not let your adorning be external. The braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry or the clothing you wear. Do not let your adorning be external. Do not let your adorning be hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle or quiet spirit. Don't hide it. Show respect in front of everybody. Show respect in the house to him. Which in God's sight is very precious. For this is how holy women who help in God used to adorn themselves by submitting to their own husband. It represents us submitting to God. Respecting God, obeying God. A job has rules and requirements and God is the same thing it has rules and requirements follow so follow his commandments the Lord does not hear sinners prayer you need to show him that you are worthy it's not only praying it's not oh I pray no it's not a 30 second pray it's not a five second pray thank you God no. You got to show God that you are worthy. You got to pray, put in your time. You have 24 hours a day. Put in your time, find the time. Put in the time, pray. You got to show him that you're worthy. You're worthy for him to choose you. You're worthy for him to guide you to the truth. As Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, and you, and you and her children, if you do good and do not fear anything that is frightening, children. Go be in Matthew 19, chapter, chapter 19, verse 9. And it says, And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except... For sexual immorality. Marries, marries another. Commits adultery. So. Basically. If you divorce. Like if she cheated on you. Or she cheated on you. Or. He. Did something wrong. Like sexual immorality. Like. 
that you can divorce him. If he's not faithful or loyal to you, he's abused you or he hurts you or he has anger issue. I mean, not not anger issue, but like if he abuses you, hurts you, then he's not worthy of you. Same thing with woman. If a woman's toxic, she hits and abuse, she acts like a hoe, she cheats on you, that you divorce her. And you can marry another faithful, loyal one. But other than that, if you divorce, you commit adultery. So other than she cheating, she's not faithful to you, or he's not faithful to you, or he abuses you, hurts you. Other than that, if you divorce, you commit adultery. A lot of marriages give up. And I'm not talking about fear. I'm talking about that. They're not, after 25 years, after 8 years, not even, even short. After five years, they're not satisfied with the marriage. Like the beginning, they're not satisfied anymore. They want it short. They want, like, everything at their hands quick. We live in a time that, like, they want new things. They always want new things. This man for five weeks and then this man for 10 weeks. Same thing with men. This woman for 12 weeks. This woman for 15 weeks. La da da. That's. Look, somewhere in the Bible it says that if a man, if a woman divorce, she's divorced. And he didn't, but if he didn't, like, she divorced him, and he didn't do nothing wrong, then she can't marry another one, unless, unless they get back together. The only option she got is to get back together with him. But if she marries another man, then she committed adultery. If... A man divorced a woman and he remarries another woman, he commits adultery. Unless she cheated or she wasn't faithful, then that's different. But she didn't do nothing wrong or the marriage broke apart. That's how it is. Okay, Dwight Howard. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom. It's my damn business. That they went to his room, took off their clothes, and kissed consensually. The Dwight Howard coming out saga has taken an increasingly dramatic turn. And the recent revelations may... And he's in the same team as LeBron James, Dwight Howard. He not only rocked the steady world of Tinseltown, but also exposed some very familiar names. Right after Dwight publicly admitted participating in a thrilling... In a threesome? I didn't know about that. I saw that like he was on Instagram like accusing the man homosexual and then the, the man's like I'm not gay. I'm just nasty. Intimate adventure involving at least one other man. The word started spreading that Dwight had been spotted in the company of our favorite closeted buddies, Diddy and Will Smith. Will Smith? I don't have a problem with it. Wait, Will Smith homo? I didn't know about that. I just knew about it now. Will Smith homo? Sexual? In case you missed this drama back in July 2021, the former NBA star Dwight Howard found himself accused by a man of a rather serious offense. This person claimed to have had an encounter at Dwight's place, and the basketball star allegedly coerced him into making out with an other gentleman dressed as a woman. By introducing him to a man dressed as a woman, Harper said the man called himself Kitty. Now it's all been under the wraps of denial of a such a cringy activity, but feels like Dwight has finally mustered the courage to tackle these allegations. And you won't believe what he's saying. Well, he didn't. Out I ain't tripping. I gotta see the title on this. Dwight Howard admits he had a gay affair with Will Smith and Diddy. 
They ain't talking about Puff Diddy, aren't they? We about to find out. Right, deny his shenanigans with the two men, he did assert that everything was consensual. They would never say or do anything to hurt or endanger anyone. But there's a twist in this plot. The court documents filed by the alleged victim tell a different story, one that paints Dwight in a less than flattering light. Consequently, Dwight now finds himself in the legal crosshairs, facing a civil lawsuit in Georgia with his attorney claiming the alleged victim is only hunting for Howard's money. What was a private consensual encounter was made public for profit, and Mr. Howard looks forward to bringing the truth to light in a court of law. While Dwight is out there defending his personal life and image that are hanging on a thin and breakable thread, the wild rumor mill is working overtime. And it's been now suggested that Dwight has always been a secret member of the elite Hollywood club, among other famous but closeted men like Diddy and Will Smith. Yeah, that is true. Every time I do something. And it's not the end of the allegations. Amidst the lawsuit that Dwight is facing, it's also... You think Will Smith was pretending like 2022, 2023 with Jada Pinkett? I mean, the connection didn't work. The relationship didn't work. So, like, it, they they went the different ways. Maybe Will Smith had a gay connection with somebody, and he turned gay. I became a sperm donor with Cryos, and I made $780 each month. Is that... Allegations. Amidst the lawsuit that Dwight is facing, it's also been reported that the former Lakers player is involved in the same horrible activities that are aimed to take advantage of considerably younger individuals. And if you've been following recent Hollywood gossip, you'd know that Diddy and Will Smith have both faced accusations along these lines multiple times. As a result, fans are starting to speculate that this rabbit hole is much deeper and murkier than initially thought, and Dwight may be a part of some shady connection to these celebs, and this connection may have some intimate nature as well. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. I bet Diddy and Will Smith have a lot to teach. The rumor about them being fruity is nothing new on social media. However, they have never been openly caught and slapped with a lawsuit, apparently because they normally protect lawsuit. themselves with end agreements. Howard, however, wasn't as witty as his friends, and according to court documents, he basically, ethically, ethically, essayed a man called Stephen Harper. As the lawsuit reads, defendant stood up, towering over Mr. Harper, grabbed Mr. Harper by the thighs, forcibly removed Mr. Harper's underwear, held Mr. Harper down, and performed non-consensual oral activity on Mr. Harper. So, this Stephen alleges that Dwight had proposed an interesting pastime involving Kitty, but this wasn't what he had... So basically, he gave him head. ...originally signed up for. Katie's true identity remains secret, except that this mysterious participant is described as a man dressed as a woman and a friend of Dwight Howard, with whom they have had occasional intimate encounters now and then. We always know more than we reveal. Because our intel comes from the actual sources. So, Stephen wasn't happy to see that Kitty was in fact another man, and he asked Dwight if he group. But the detail- Alright, let's search up a Wills. Alright, I think this one is it. Made me more absent as a father when it comes to will uh, the daughter's already damaged she saw the piercing the lips she dressed like goth she's already corrupted and jada smith people focus so much on willow and Jaden, and forget that will actually has another son trey smith from his first marriage but what's the real truth about how will and jada treat trey so before jada there was sheree zampino who trey yeah, whatever that girl name that's that one was a good woman. That woman was a good wife. But I honestly don't know what happened that they end up divorcing and Will Smith going to Jada Pink if the one example divorce rate is like when you get married for the first time, divorce is less likely. Well, most likely because divorce rate is high. But second marriage if you get married a second time you have a higher chance of divorce there's a higher chance in divorce third marriage it's even a higher chance of divorce fourth marriage higher and then beyond and beyond and beyond there's people that get married five times and then they divorce like I honestly, like, honestly wouldn't get married again. If I got married, divorced two times, let's keep playing.
still just a baby, Will and Cherie got divorced. Then came Jada. Will and Jada first met when Jada auditioned for the role of his girlfriend on his show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But Jada didn't get the part. However, they did continue to run into each other and Will admitted that he was deeply attracted to Jada, even though he was already married to his first wife. And get this, just the day after Will got divorced, he called Jada and asked if she was seeing someone. And when she said no, Will was like, cool, you're seeing me now. Even though they were cool, Will said later that divorcing Cherie was the ultimate failure in his life. I see me. Will Smith, I don't think that was, to be honest. Does the world have enough of Will Smith acting perfect? Everybody needs to do what I say. He just overdoes it. I've read 50 books on marriage. I liked Will Smith yeah. better when I didn't know all this shit. Is this the downfall of the world's biggest movie star? I was failing miserably. There's a petition to stop Will and Jada Smith from doing any more interviews. I got into an entanglement with August. Why do we have to know Will's business like this, dog? It's not Jada's fault. It had been so long since I felt good. It's not the kid's fault. I was going to be the best father the planet had ever seen, or I was going to be dead. It's his fault. I was. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Because men control everything. Society is men. Men control everything. Men are leaders. Women and kids are examples. It's not Jada's fault. It's not the kid's fault. It's Will's fault. It's Will's fault. Like, he failed a lot of times. It requires a change of lifestyle. You need to change lifestyle. It ain't easy. I'm not telling you it's easy. But it ain't easy. It requires changes. You want to see changes, you have to change your lifestyle. People who chase perfection are always hiding something dark. That's right. I decided to be funny, to constantly please others. The funnier the yeah, being funny, that just, that just like putting a mask in front, like a fake mask in front of you so people don't see your true self yourself in the inside that's hurt that is broken person the greater the pain no one knew he would the greater the pain the funnier the greater the pain the more pain you hide the more depressed i can just imagine being in that relationship depressed not knowing what to do your life is like a loop you're stuck Hiding a secret about his father. I grew up in a household where I was scared and watched my father beat my mother up. I'd always told myself that I would one day avenge my mother. He wanted to kill his own father. Has the world had enough? Yeah. Will Smith officially comes out of the closet after this. Will Smith has been making headlines lately, mostly for his interaction with Chris Rock. But recently, there's been something going on in Will Smith's life that he was planning on keeping private. Well, that is up in- Well, he had an affair with Dwight Howard. Until recently, Will Smith decided to reveal his long-kept secret to the world. It's crazy to hear a man like Will Smith come out of the closet, but it seems like he's sick and tired of hiding his true self. And this news has the media shook. Will Smith re- This is what happened. Will Smith's father beat his mother. This is what happened when your mother and father are not careful with their kids. Kids absorb pain like sponges. Kids are sponges. They absorb what they see, what they hear, what they listen. So, as a kid seen that their mother that, the, that their father is beating their mother up. It's terrible. It corrupts the kid. Divorces. Corrupts the kid. I seen in front of my face. Kids changing. Recently spoke on his relationship and revealed the dark truth behind his love life. According to his reaction, it's obvious that Will Smith was holding this in for a long time. And it's crazy to hear it come out of his very own mouth. Will Smith officially comes out of the closet at Yeah. 
Jada Pinkett Smith keeps airing out their marital problems after she revealed that not only is Will Smith acting for movies, but also for their marriage to the public. Let's make this quick. That you were going to live completely separate lives. Okay, we've seen that. There's nothing there. All right, let's pull the Bible verse. So this is how father, this is how it corrupts the kid. Or when you see a kid that's corrupted, this is what you need to do. Give justice to the weak and the fatherless. Maintain the right of afflicted and destitute. It means as a father, Maintain that authority. Do not let the kid run over you. Do not let the kid have authority over you. Discipline your kid. There's rules that you need to follow. Just like job, just like work, there's requirements. Just like being with a husband, there's requirements. Rescue the weak. And the needy and deliver them from the hand of the wicked. It means rescue the kids. Get them off the street. And this is as a father. As a father, get them off the streets. Get them off the drugs. Get them off the bad influence of friends. Teach them the correct path. Show them the correct path. Let's go on the next one. Leviticus 20, verse 13. If a man has sexual relation with a man, a man with a man, yes, you saw it. Do not, do not encourage your mind. Do not, like, brainwash your mind saying that, oh, this is different. It's the Old Testament. Do not do that. Because people say that's the Old Testament. We don't got to follow the Old Testament. This is the Old Testament. This is actually a third. This is actually Exodus. This is after Exodus. After Exodus, that's right. Twenty, and it was chapter nineteen. Verse 13. If a man has sexual relation with a man, a man with a man, as one does with woman, woman with a woman. So woman, this also talks about you, woman with woman, man with man. Both of them have done what is detestable and abomination to the Lord. They're to be put to death. Their blood will be their own heads. Let's read it again. If a man has sexual relation with a man, sexual stuff, having an affair with a man, as one does with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. They're to be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. Okay. So clearly it's forbidden. It's an abomination. And God does. He judges. He judges the homosexual. He judges the people that don't follow the Old Testament. The New Testament. You still got to follow. Read the whole chapter of Leviticus 20. Because it talks about three-way. And three-way. Three-way sex. It's an abomination to the Lord. It, it can either be men, three men doing it, or two women, one man, or two men, one woman. It's forbidden. Three ways are forbidden. Seek out your own salvation, fear and trembling. See you guys, and peace.